Please respect the new Rise of TMNT, Nickelodeon. Why are you hiding it? It's a great show. Fuck you. Uh, look into that if you want. Nickelodeon is trying to sandbag slash bury uh, that show. And that show's only getting better and better. You know. Um, you know, sometimes Platinum might lose its luster. Just a little bit. Not a, not a ton. I'm just saying. So today we are playing um, TMNT Mutants in Manhattan, a game that uh, I feel had so much potential, but is not executed super Teenage well. But there is good stuff here. Uh, when I first heard Plan was making a TMNT game, you know... I fucking pissed my ass. I was so excited. Um, and for those of you that don't remember this, this came out in a very, very narrow band of time. Uh, it was one of those three licensed games that Platinum made with Activision, the others being uh, Transformers Devastation, which I liked a lot. I never finished it, but I still liked it. And Korra, which I also liked. I also didn't finish it. <laughs> and Ninja Turtles, the franchise I liked the most out of all those three. And I played it the least, but maybe, maybe if I give it another chance, I might warm up to it. There is a lot to like in this game, a lot of the redesigns, maybe not so much of the turtles. I mean, the turtles a little off, I, I don't know what it is, but you know, not every design is going to be great, but all of the bosses look super cool. So we're not taking Leonardo, of course, we're taking Raphael. The only right choice. And he is, he is the only right choice. Anyone who says different is what I like to call a liar. Now, to be to be perfectly serious, I like all four turtles. I mean, they all have their uh, their qualities. I do like Raphael, and I've been coming around to Leonardo, especially in the last two Ninja Turtle shows. They've done a lot with his personality, make him a bit more interesting than just boring leader. Like, now he's no longer Dude, the shit Cyclops nobody likes. Now people actually do like him. You know one thing I'm not a What's fan more? of is in certain shows, not all of them, they make Michelangelo like a child. And I think that's too much. I love Michelangelo in the Ninja Turtle movies, specifically the first one, where he's the younger one, but he's not played like an idiot all the time. And even some of the later shows, like there's just, there's a balance to Mikey you want to get right. And sometimes they go a little too far. So this is the first weird thing about this game, at least in this first opening level. Okay, Mikey's dancing now. I didn't, I didn't do that, but. So everyone, everyone's already dead. That's cool. You basically wander around this really empty open world, just finding battles, which is okay, cool, but. I, I mean, there's not that much structure, at least to this opening level. Like, again, I haven't played a bunch of levels. I've played the first two. And there's something about it where I, I feel this this is just a little too chaotic and just a little too just throwing things at a wall and seeing what works. And I'm not even saying it's bad, but th I mean, there's a lot to... Uh, there's actually just a lot I want to talk about. The first off being all four turtles, even in single player, being available all at once, being controlled by AI bots, I I find it's a mess when you're trying to control a fight. And you're trying to do cool platinum combat, which which the game is like, yeah, we want you to do, but also use detective mode. Find the other foot soldiers, okay, they're over there. When everyone's throwing their shit out and I just want to be stylish because it's a platinum game, I, 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 it's hard to concentrate. So the AI is also there. We also take these combo attacks. We're holding L2. I can also switch to the other turtles there. There's an enemy helicopter happening. It, I find it's a little nuts overall. Maybe it's something I can get used to, but I, I don't know. So they want me to sneak attack this guy. I hope the game lets me because my AI friends might Okay, good. That worked. They did it. That's good. I wish I could just turn them off. I wish I could just be Leonardo or Raph or Don, whoever. And then if I want to switch one on the fly, I can. But I'd rather just be by myself. If you're playing this online, fine. Because this had an online thing. Unfortunately, I don't think it works anymore because this game got delisted in general. 
So there's that. Um, the other thing is that this has no local multiplayer at all. I was gonna play this with Liam, and then I, like, researched the game a bit, and I'm like, well, I can't play it with you, motherfucker, unless we play it online, and he doesn't have it. So you basically have to complete a bunch of battles until it unlocks the boss fight. It actually reminds me a bit of Mad World, doesn't it? As I'm complaining about all this, and I'm really sorry if I'm complaining too much, it's just... I love Ninja Turtles, like, a lot, and again, you say, oh, one of my favorite developers of all time is making something based on one of my, like, absolute favorite franchises. Of course I'm gonna want it to be the best it can be, and this is so close, it's just there's these decisions that I'm just like, why, why would you make it like this exactly? Especially for, like, a downloadable, you know, smaller scale project. It, it seems a little weird to me, and the fact that it's based on a license, the fact that Activision lost said license makes this like game kind of incredibly rare nowadays. If you see a physical copy, of which there were, sometimes I forget about that, but this was like not an expensive release. I don't think it was, it was full price, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but all these factors the fact that you can't play locally with friends at all. You can't play a Ninja Turtle game locally. It's insane to me. We're, we're doing this now. I... holy shit. Okay, so my ultimate marriage of what I would really like to have seen with this game is actually, remember Ninja Turtles uh, Out of the Shadows? It was that other downloadable uh, Turtles game with the... Um, really really gritty art style and was made by Redfly Studios that have made lots of great games in the past. That game has a bunch of problems, but they're all different problems compared to this. Um, that game does not uh, perform very well in terms of uh, technically. It has a bunch of graphical issues. Uh, the way you fight isn't very good. Guess what though? I actually kind of prefer it a little bit in regards to how this plays, because that game you control one turtle at one time, and if you want to switch to others, you can, on the fly, whenever you want. Awesome! If you want to play locally, you can, because it had a separate arcade mode, where it had all four turtles on the screen, and it was presented more like an arcade game. It was the best you could possibly do while offering exactly what people might want. It got around that problem of, okay, it's too chaotic having all four turtles on screen in a 3D environment with all this platinum shit going on. Alright, alright, big special attacks. Let's defuse this bomb now. Don't want to blow up this empty part of New York City. Leave me alone, foot soldiers. Where are my brothers? Okay, alright, now I have to ask them to protect me. I'm, I've been shell-shocked, though. Hey, AI companions! Little help? Thanks! Okay, great. Alright, so if I want to tell my AI companions, i got to press the guide button on the PlayStation 4. Protect me while I defuse Big Bomba, please. Protect me! Thanks! Where are you guys going? No, don't defuse it with me! Okay, Donnie, maybe Donnie can help because of the big brain and winning. Oh my god. Alright, I'll protect me. At least some of the progress on the bomb holds up. No, guys, please. Hey, like I'm saying, like, this world looks like a comic book, the cell shading, much like all those other Platinum games I referenced earlier. It is just, it looks awesome. It kind of reminds me of just the better version of those really bad Konami games based on the 2003 cartoon. You know, let me know in the comments if any of you liked those. I hated them. They were not fun to play. I appreciated that they tried, and I appreciate that, that some of those games had unlockable versions of the arcade classics, but in general, I was just like, ooh, these are real, real boring. Let's actually try to pick somebody else. Uh, Mikey. Like, all these combat anim animations, they're fucking sick! I, you know, I, I'd want to appreciate them even more. 
Oh, look at that. Did you see it was Rising Thunder? The Tournament Fighters. God, I wish I love Tournament Fighters so much. I need to play that Tournament Fighters Championship Edition. I asked them, please protect me. Protect me. We only have 11 seconds left. Yay! Oh wait, no. We still have another bomb. Oh no. You didn't make it in time. Practice makes perfect, right? Oh, whatever. I guess the people died. Collateral damage, you know what I'm saying, bros? I love all this jumping on the rooftop stuff. It's so fluid. Again, much better than a lot of other... What the? There's just... There's just foot soldiers oh, hanging out in that apartment. Hurry up and help him out. Whoa! Leo, are you okay? Huh. Who are these fucking nerd foot soldiers? These guys get no respect. That's pretty cool. I like that little hidden missions throughout there. There's there's something about this game where it's like, oh my god, this is getting so close to like I wanna say a perfect TMNT game, you know, far from it. But the core idea is just, it's just boggled down with so many other decisions that kind of just make it a mess to play. So all my bros are fighting, I'm going to find that other hideout. Now if we do this mission, uh, we complete it, this should unlock Bebop. And that's part of it I do enjoy too. Again, like that Mad World sort of thing of like clearing out certain missions or even Max Anarchy, then unlocking the boss. And bosses are a highlight of TMNT games, and the ones that I've played through and the ones I've seen, they're cool. I mean, they're very mashy, but at the same time, you can grind on shit? That's awesome, too. Why is so small parts of this game so cool? How are you people between Bebop and Rocksteady? I've always been a Bebop man myself. And even that's pretty mad world. That looks like the Gator Tooth. But Bebop, as you can see, has six life bars. So very much a beat em up in that regard. I don't mind that. Combo attack. Yeah, 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 make him dance. That's pretty sick. Turtle time. Jesus, just witch time. So, a key to fighting the bosses, I find, because these are not easy on the medium difficulty, at the very fucking least, is to use all your Ninja Turtle Jujutsu or whatever. Ninja Jujutsu. Your Shadow Clone Jutsus. Uh, it seems to help quite a bit. I'm not sure if he needed that much health. I said I didn't mind it, but uh, that was kind of a slog. Remember when Sarah Michelle Gellar played April O'Neil? I do. Look at this slash! Look at him! He looks so dope! It cries cool armor god! This is why this game rules. These are amazing looking bosses. Are we gonna be in the sewers? Yeah, sewer level. Gotta love the sewers. The yeah, sewer level, nice. Alright, so I never played this level before. And, hey, I like those flashlights, that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm I'm hoping this'll I don't know, be a little bit different. Um, I didn't really much care for I, wandering around a kind of empty, boring, open world. Um, you know, you know. I, I don't know what they're supposed to do, because it's not like they can have a bunch of people looking at the turtles, but where was everyone in New York City that night? Were they all in quarantine too? All right, so I'm kind of liking the way this level is is paced out. It's not it's not nearly as like crazy as the opening level. Um, which I just felt was all over the place. I mean, this feels like just forward progression, which is kind of what I wanted. But since we have to move to the bottom floor of the sewer, I mean, that's that's a direction. That's a goal we can go towards. And I don't mind levels having kind of different objectives or whatever, but I don't know. As the first level, that, that cityscape maybe wasn't the best introduction. It was just too much all at one time. And even moving your turtle around feels great. Like this, all this acrobatic stuff, it's good. I, I the, the little, like, I guess, uh, parachute, it's a bit goofy, but at the same time, I mean, the turtle's had a fucking air blimp. What am I supposed to say to you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was actually a pretty sick move there, Don. I have a gun in my inventory, by the way. 
which is a little weird. Remember that one Ninja Turtle from, God, the next mutation, the one that had a gun? That's the other thing. If there was DLC, if this game had survived long enough to have DLC, they should have had Venus de Milo. I mean, why not? I've been thinking about maybe making a Flophouse Files just about the insanity of Ninja Turtles games. Remember that weird period of time? There was a transitional year where Ubisoft was still making all their crazy games based on the TMNT movie, then Arcade Attack, and then they did the Reshelled remake, uh, then Smash Up. And then, just as they were doing that, Activision got the license and put out a bunch of different games of their own. They were based on the 2012 CG cartoon, and then Out of the Shadows, and then this. There was just a couple of years where it was so insane the amount of Turtles games that were coming out that all had different art styles and designs. Like, it was just nuts. How deep are New York sewers? Let me know, New Yorkers. Because I'm getting worried about how deep this is this is getting. They just kind of made big open designs that you just kind of keep going through again and again and again until you've completed enough missions that uh, the, the boss just appears. So I'm kind of sad there's not like more interesting designs with like, you know, actual things to them rather than just wandering around waiting for missions to trigger. Like even Mad World had a lot of evolving levels they got different as you went through them and things would break apart and change so i guess this is what happens when you have a limited budget and time to make these things under activision oh yeah he's just basically killer croc but like not leatherhead awesome how big is he problem, problem. holy shit Oh man, this is the last thing we needed. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to fight him. Just yeah, yeah, we did not want right? this. He's so really he's such a large, chunky inside. boy. I love it. We're more worried about the huge claws and spikes. And it's like better. He's like a mix of Slash and and Toka. Toka and Razor are most underappreciated uh, Ninja Turtles villains, I think. So yeah, he is a big lumbering brute, basically. Not that, not as difficult as fucking Bebop, that's for sure. Yeah, give, give me all these glamour shots. Thanks for the cheers, New York! Good job, Slash wasn't doing anything, and you kicked his ass! Whoa, whoa, dude! It's cool! We weren't trying Are we to actually gonna try to use charisma? We trying to stop those foot dudes, that's all. Calm down. Foot bad. Yeah. Yep, totally bad. You know what those foot dweebs were doing? Yes, foot was sneaking. Foot was sneaking. What? What are you doing? Space guns. <laughs> Did he say space guns? It was pretty clear. <sighs> That you've had a big day, man. I'm sorry we disturbed you. Alright, so I think that about does it for a TMNT Mutants in Manhattan. I, I guess that means that there are mutants in Manhattan. Um, God, I feel so conflicted with this. There's bits that I love, and then there's just a lot that's just kind of a mess. I, I really wish this could get re-released somehow. I don't think so, because Activision doesn't hold the license anymore. And just retool this a little bit. Maybe give Platinum another chance or somebody else, because there hasn't been a new TMNT non-mobile game in a while, and I would like to see one. Just I love the Turtles so much, and this this just disappointed me with how messily it was kind of put together. But uh, if you like this game, I, I'm really happy that someone found a Team NT game that they're really, really into. You know, as I was playing this, I was kind of getting into the groove a little bit more, but I just wish some things were different. Any other Team NT games you'd like me to play, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see what I can do for you, Kawabunga, and etc.